fall, eager new faces crowd the campus. They're the incoming students, the freshmen and transfers who have just recently arrived at Berkeley. But their first introduction to Cal comes even before they've stepped foot on campus. Alex Schwartz, Director of Academic Planning, is in charge of coordinating this first introduction. The On the Same Page program. Overall goal of the program is always the same and it's that has carried forward to this year, which is to get students talking and thinking and to have one intellectual experience in common. Usually this intellectual experience is limited to sending students the same books or DVDs. But for the class of 2014, UC Berkeley gave them a unique and rather controversial treat. The topic would be personalized medicine, and they would analyze their students' DNA. The initial idea was that incoming students would be able to submit their DNA to the school for testing. Using this test kit, all students had to do was submit a saliva sample, and their DNA would be analyzed at a research lab like this one here at the UC Berkeley campus. They would test for three genes in the lab, one that coded for lactose intolerance, one associated with red face and nausea after drinking alcohol, and one that coded for a metabolizing enzyme using folic acid. But after several legal and ethical issues were raised, the California Department of Public Health demanded the university scale back the ambitious program. Assemblyman Chris Norby took it a step further, introducing Assembly Bill 70 into the state legislature. AB 70 would have made it illegal for state universities to make unsolicited requests for students' genetic material for the purpose of testing. This was a concern of Mr. Norby's in the sense that he did not want the taxpayers to, to be at risk for any lawsuits that might be filed or any legal ramifications. While AB 70 was defeated, the impact of government crackdown on consumer genetic tests has already been felt nationally. The FDA cracked down on the Walgreens pharmacy chain for their plans to sell direct-to-consumer genetic tests in the form of saliva kits. And back in Berkeley, the On the Same Page program was coming under similar heat. A lot of concerns that people still need to think much more carefully about having to do with privacy, having to do with um, how much control should one have over what kinds of use your data derived from your own tissues are put to, having to do with the public health issues. Professor Jasper Ryan, whose ideas birthed the Bring Your Genes to Cal program, gave a kickoff lecture on September 13th addressing these concerns. Ryan dismissed the privacy issue, saying safeguards were in place. It was completely anonymous. It was barcoded. There was only three gene variants tested. The DNA was destroyed afterwards. There is no privacy issue here. And he also stressed the importance of personalized medicine. Knowledge of our personal genetic variants can help us recognize our risk factors before they are sick factors so that we can promote health. And while some students were convinced and saw no problem in volunteering their DNA for the program, I mean, I sent in my thing, I signed the condition, conditional statement, and I figured the school would protect my interests. Others remain skeptical. It sounded kind of sketchy to me, so I never sent it in. Direct to consumer testing and the issue of exactly who has the right to access your DNA are all topics still being hotly contested. The FDA, the California State Legislature, and even private companies have weighed in on the debate. But even after the conclusion of the On the Same Page program, Berkeley itself still remains divided. In Berkeley, Rita Flores, LTV.